dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today to sanctify and humble the vessel of this idea. May it be used for your glory and guided by your wisdom. Heavenly Father, my Creator and my Sustainer, I come before you, humbled and dependent on your mercy and grace. You know the depths of my heart, the struggles, the doubts, and the weight I carry. Lord, I am but a vessel, unworthy on my own, yet chosen by you to carry this vision. I did not deserve it, but you, in your wisdom, entrusted me with this idea, this quest for godly knowledge that surpasses my understanding. I tremble at the thought of moving forward without your guidance. Father, I remember the words of the psalmist, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. I trust in you as my shepherd, knowing that without you I am lost, but with you I lack nothing. Lead me, Lord, on the path of righteousness as I journey with this idea. Restore my soul when the weight feels too heavy and give me the strength to follow where you lead, not where I desire to go. I ask for wisdom, Lord, the wisdom you gave to Solomon as I seek to understand this vision. I echo the words of the psalm Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Father, I need your understanding. For my own wisdom is nothing before you. Grant me insight into the depths of this calling, so that I may walk faithfully according to your will and not be swayed by my own pride or the world's distractions. Lord, you know my weaknesses. You know that I am often despised and misunderstood. Yet your word says, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. I cling to this promise knowing that you choose the humble, the outcast, the weak to display your glory. If it is your will, Make this vision the cornerstone of something great, not for my glory, but for yours alone. Keep me from seeking recognition or validation from man, for you are my validation. Help me to remember that it is only through your strength that anything good can come from this. I ask that you humble my heart daily, Lord that I may not fall into the temptation of thinking this vision belongs to me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Purify my motives, Lord. If there is any pride, any vanity, or any selfish ambition in me, strip it away. Let my only desire be to see your will fulfilled, to see your kingdom come, and to know you more intimately through this journey. Father, I do not want to move an inch without your blessing. Your word says, unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. I submit this vision entirely to you. Build this idea, Lord, if it is your will. Watch over its progress and guard me from stepping outside of your divine plan. I dare not attempt anything in my own strength, for without you all is in vain. I cry out to you as the psalmist did, guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God my Saviour and my hope is in you all day long. Lord my hope is in you alone. I do not trust in my own understanding or the approval of others. I ask for your truth to guide me, for I know that your plans are far greater than anything I could imagine. Teach me, O oh God, to walk in obedience, 
to listen for your voice and to trust that you will make a way where there seems to be none. In my moments of doubt and fear, let me remember the words of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You, Lord, are my light, my salvation, my stronghold. In you, I find courage and strength. When I am weak, remind me that you are strong. When I am despised, remind me that you were despised first. When I am weary, remind me that you will renew my strength. Father, I place my life, this idea, and everything I have at your feet. Not my will, but yours be done. Guide me, bless me, and sanctify me, so that I may serve as your faithful vessel, bringing glory to your name in all things. I pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.